Hey guys, it's Brie and this week we are going to be salt painting with watercolor paints and there's actually a lot of different things you can do with watercolor and salt so you should definitely experiment with that sometime but I hope you guys enjoy this week's tutorial. Okay, so I'm going to start out by drawing a fish and I'm going to be doing this by drawing sort of a sideways teardrop shape. And now I'm going to draw the tail. And now I'm going to give him a cute little face with some lips and some eyes. And now I'm going to draw some little air bubbles just to indicate that he's underwater. And some little waves. I'm also drawing a few little strands of seaweed. So now I'm going to take some Elmer's glue and just go over all of my pencil lines and make sure they're covered in glue. Okay, now I'm going to take some salt and cover all of that glue that I just put down with salt. And now I'm going to let it dry for 20 minutes. Okay, now my 20 minutes is up, so I'm going to pick up my paper by the two edges on the side and get all of the excess salt off and dispose of it. Your salt may be a little bit clumpy. I know mine was, and that's okay. This is just something you probably won't be able to hang on the fridge. So now I'm gonna take my watercolor palette and a cup of water, and I'm going to wet my brush really good. You're gonna want a lot of water on it. And you can use whatever colors you'd like, just make sure you apply them directly to the salt for the full effect.
This is what it looks like done, and this is what it looks like when it's dry. Um, it did bleed a little bit, but that's okay. I think it still looks pretty cool. But like I said, this probably isn't something you can hang on your fridge. But I hope you guys liked it, and I will see you next week. Bye.